What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel of Do Some Mess. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. When you hit the notification bell, tell it all notifications, or you won't get notified when I post things, because YouTube's like that. So, uh, welcome back, though. How's it going? Uh, don't forget to check out the other channels. You can find all the links down below. I'm in Trotto Giants and Nexus Partner. You can find those links down below as well. Uh, with that said, let's try this winter achievement, I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, we're gonna give this another go. Celtic Moon, how's it going? True, how are you? Ricky, what's up? Tia, how's it going? Bud, how's it going, buddy? Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> no, no, the yard stick to crack him over the head. Uh, I'll tell you what, it, it's, it's fun for a while. Uh, but when you're, when you're stressing out and you're trying to get taxes done and people are constantly giving you crap in discord and, and this or that about not streaming, or you didn't let us know in time, or you didn't let us know in the right place, uh, that gets to be a bit old after a while. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a whole video by itself just on my feelings on being stressed out. I feel, I feel like people don't realize how stressful it is. Oh, all you're doing is playing video games. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Just video games. Just video, just playing video games. Not running a business. Not running four channels. No. No big deal. Don't have real life going on at home either. You know. Nothing big. Just, just playing video games. No big deal. Okay, I guess I'm done ranting now. Uh, <laughs> we can actually get into this. Uh, so, going into wintertime, I am going to... Do I need to take my clothes off tonight or tomorrow, or does it matter? Because I've tried this multiple ways. I have yet to figure out how to do this. Like, I really don't know what to do here. Uh, like, I don't know what constitutes his clothing. <laughs> Can I not have my torch up? Is that the thing? Like, do I literally just have to sit here for three days with no torch? Is that what's going on here? Like, no torch? I have to use campfires, maybe? Like I, I don't I don't know how to make this happen because I've tried this multiple different ways. So I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I don't know what to do next. Oh, Eden says hi. Yep, yep, no problem, bud. I know she works nights, so no problem at all. Uh, the, the minimal decorations outside the house, I think work pretty well. I think once, once we get the tavern unlocked, we'll do some major updates, uh, some major workings and goings on. I still want to figure out where to put the tavern. I guess we can look at that while we're waiting on winter time here. Uh, so I don't know. I was going to put it there. I probably should have put it there. That would have been a great place to put the tavern. As a matter of fact, given that the, the, Yeah, given that the market's right there, I might actually move the stable. We might put the stable somewhere else. Because we got all the work stuff over there. We got houses here, houses here. The market, and then we put the tavern right there. I think that'd be a really good place for it. Just in case. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's just let's do away with all this stuff. Uh, I'm taking the torches off. I'm taking the arrow. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. Literally nothing on. So, yeah, I think it was going to strip all the way down and be be done with it. What's up, Derek? How's it going? Jeremy, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I keep failing this. There, there's no reason for me not to have had this achievement already. Uh, I've done it multiple ways. Uh, a few times, yes, we tried it with two-day seasons, and apparently it has to be three-day seasons, so. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do next. I don't know how to make this work right. 
I mean, we'll literally just stand here, if need be. Uh, with no torch. Uh, maybe you can't drink potions? I don't know. A chicory looked really nice this, uh, this late. That nice, uh, purple-blue color. Looks really nice. There's some more. There's some more. I'm just picking it up to be picking it up since it's here. I haven't collected a whole lot of that, so... Why not? Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe it's just gonna be a case of, uh... Maybe it's just gonna be a case of... Of literally doing nothing. And if I don't get it this time, I don't know what to do. A woolly milk cap. But yeah, if I don't get it, I don't know if I should, if I should, uh, so apparently I can sleep. Jeff said he got his, even though he slept between days. So I can sleep. I just don't know what the other problem is. Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. All right, what we got? The night is dark and full of howls. During the night, there was a terrifying howl heard in every corner of the village. No one has felt safe since then. Hopefully, the animals won't come any closer to the village. Uh, comfort. Five to ten. Yeah, let's comfort. Use answer. All villagers uh, got five mood. Okay, so I guess that's plus five. Talk with the vi talking with the villagers allowed you to assure them it was just a harmless animal and they have nothing to worry about. I mean, we live in the medieval times, right? So... I don't think that's necessarily true. Oh, we failed the king's quest. That's not good. Uh, uh, I guess that's okay then. Yeah, I don't know. We shouldn't have failed it though, because I had everything done. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep these windows closed. Winter time out after all. There we go. Mad's a bad king anyhow. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right. No clothes. Nothing on. No torch equipped. Uh, I guess we can go sit in front of the fire, right? It's about all we can do. Yeah, that's about all we can do, I guess. Uh, I can go do other things, maybe go collect stuff. But I think we just sit here. Who cares? Just sit here. Yeah, why are you naked? <laughs> the campfire seems to be working, though. We're close enough to it, so... Because she's looking at me like, what in the... You have clothes on. You have clothes on. She looks at us and she's like, where are your clothes? Look at her. She's like, where are yours? Why are you naked? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> uh, uh, settings you have temperature effect turned on? I think I do. Pretty sure I do. That's not the one I need, is it? Uh... Is it because I have stamina turned on? Unlimited stamina turned on? Is that the problem? Yeah, poisoning, temperature, fast crafting, all that's on. Is it because I have unlimited stamina turned on, maybe? Yeah, I don't either. 
Oh, wow. Why is that two day seasons? That's not right. I'm on three day seasons. I'm supposed to be on three day seasons. Lori, how's it going? Uh, no, no big plans for the weekend. No, uh, I got to finish up my next no place like home episode for Sunday for pixel news plays. Um, and I'll probably be, uh, reaching out to, uh, reaching out to people about, uh, starting my shooting the deuce podcast. I'm going to record those and I'm going to try to get a bunch of them done, uh, before I ever release one. Uh, so I can just pop them out once a week and have plenty, plenty of backup, uh, on my shooting the deuce channel. So. Hang on. Let me see if I can find it, bud. Let me see if I can find it. Probably going to get a strike for this, but. So my dad had that as one of his, one of his, uh, toys for his CB when he would, um, when he would key up. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me, let me do this real quick. Let me find it. All right, here we go. I found it. Oh, why ain't that? What? What's going on? How come that's not going to the... Why is it not going to the thing? What are you doing? Wow, that's weird. Okay. It's me again, Margaret. Hello, is this Margaret? <laughs> I was trying to find the Ray Stevens thing in my my it wasn't uh sending through my my channel for some reason. I don't know what was going on there. Uh anyway, Ray Stevens. Love the guy. Fantastic. <laughs> What's up, Loco? How's it going? Yeah, I was trying to find the Ray Stevens thing there. <laughs> it wasn't sending through my my audio channel though for some reason. It's glitched and it finally did, but that was the first one. He doesn't say it right there, he says it later on. Yeah, Ray Stevens is fantastic. I mean, am I on two-day seasons? I don't think I am. I think I'm on one-day seasons. I mean, uh, three-day seasons. It says two-day, but that's not right either. Because I set this to... I set this as three day a while back. Like this is literally what we're gonna be doing, I think. I think we're literally just gonna be sitting here. It's gonna be the bo most boring stream ever, but I'm trying to get this achievement. <laughs> this is the sole purpose of today's stream is I wanna get this achievement done. Uh, so I'm going to try to take some time and record a video uh, and update. Ever, since we're not doing Farm Sim Friday today, uh, I'm going to try to record and, and update everybody on the, the the farm progress because we've sold all the land uh, just, just because it's Farm Sim Friday. Normally we're streaming Farm Sim right now. Uh, we've sold all the land. All the land has been, has been purchased on the map. Uh, we lost one farm consolidated uh, into my farm because everybody was okay with that apparently. Uh, I didn't realize it was happening until it was already happened. So I was like, all right, I'm cool with that. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick walk around the no man's land, uh, multiplayer farm and show it off. Uh, and again, if you play farm sim and you're looking to come join a server, uh, just hop in discord, follow the welcome message, and then you'll be able to see the farm sim channels and hop in and play. We have a 16X map and a uh, regular No Man's Land map that's crossplay. The 16X map is PC only. And again, it's 
16x. So it's 16 times the normal size of a map. Oh, I see the bot's finally working today. I mean, that could be it, Junior, yeah. Yeah, I just, when she was sitting there looking at me while it goes, maybe because breakfast was coming back, I don't know. Uh, maybe that was the, maybe that was the reason. Maybe that was the case. My guy was just sitting here with his feet crossed. He's like, yep, nice and warm next to the fire. This is good. God, kid's gonna get me sick. Oh my God, he's coughing his head off of us. Somebody get that kid. Put him in the house. It's too cold out here. Anna, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. And thank you for becoming a member, by the way. Uh, I know you probably weren't here the other day when I said it, but uh, thank you so very much. Ray's been doing this back from the set. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ray, 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 Ray Stevens is fantastic. If you guys want some good comedy songs, uh, Ray Stevens is, is hilarious. So. Uh, just, just worth a look there. If you want some comedy songs, if you have some dark humor and you want some comedy songs, uh, a newer guy would be Tim Minchin. Uh, he's hilarious, but, uh, I gotta tell you, he's got some pretty abrasive comedy, so I don't recommend kids listening to him. Uh, or if you're sensitive, don't listen to him. <laughs> He's got some pretty abrasive comedy. Ray Stevens is much cleaner, uh, but but both very funny. One one veteran and one that's been. I mean, to be fair. I guess Tim's been around a long time too, but not that long. So. Welcome to the Medieval Dynasty Winter Challenge. Literally, just being naked all winter to get the achievement. I don't know. This is this has got to be set to two uh, three day seasons. This says two day, but I don't think it is. Like we're halfway through day one already, meaning that that bar up at the top there would be further along than that. I think. And I'm gonna sleep because, as far as I know, you can sleep through night. You just can't be wearing anything. And I don't know what would be keeping us from not getting this achievement. Ah, when I click off it, I lo we lose the music. I don't want to lose the music. Yeah, I just don't know what I can and can't do. Like, I don't want anything in my hands. I don't want to be wearing anything. Like... did a lot of decorating Anna yeah I mean I might have to I might have to go that route kids you're in the you're in the shot here in the picture I was trying to get a good screenshot there but I mean it is three days though that's what I'm saying like we're halfway through day one already and it's and it's barely moved. It's set to three day, but it says two day on here for some reason. I mean, let's just reload real quick. Let's reload and change that to three because it's it's three days. Like I've had to sleep twice before I could skip the season, but it says two under that. I don't know why. Yeah, like every if, if for the last couple of episodes, you go back and look. I've had to sleep twice before we could skip seasons, meaning it's three day seasons. Uh, but it's still saying two there for some reason. Let's just go back. Go back and try this again. I trust nothing either. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. Probably the best way to go about it. Okay, first things first. Yeah, see, it says two days there, but uh, I know for sure 
that we were uh, we were skipping at least two nights. So, all right, wearing absolutely nothing. Go to bed. I think we can probably go to bed. Oh, six minutes. Prepare for the upcoming winter here. He reached those. Okay, just to be sure, nothing on our feet. Nothing on. Be good. Let's again. Okay, fine. We didn't get the wolf thing that time either, but that's okay. I'll settle my own bench this time. <laughs> Look at me, I'm like, God, this is stupid. <laughs> And I really wish my camera wasn't way up here in third person. I'll take like a full screenshot there. I can make that work maybe? I don't know. All right, let's look now and see what it says. Customize game. It says three days now. I bet that's all it was. I honestly bet that's what it was. It's because it was still registering as a two day season even though I was having to skip uh, or sleep through two nights before I could skip season, meaning uh, that it was set to three days before. So yeah, I bet that's what it was. I bet it was still registering as two day. Yeah, I bet it was just set to two day. Makes total sense. Or registering is two day rather. Oh, you mean say yeah? We probably should quick save there, shouldn't we? Yeah, not a bad idea. Uh, I can always go back and load up one of my other saves. Yeah, this is going to be interesting uh, to see if it actually works. I'm hoping it's literally just because... All right, everybody's going to work now. Uh, I'm hoping it's it's honestly just because the... Uh, um, warm back up again. Let's see if we can get a good screenshot of this. This is actually kind of a cool setting here. actually quite a nice screenshot there but this side somebody's always got to be photo bombing don't they yeah okay where are we at right here right here we just need to move these folks back over to this house because uh, I think we're done with this one right yeah, I think this one's ready. Move them back in. Haven't done that yet. Oh, we need to get our person repairing houses and stuff too, though. Uh, let's see. Production. No. Services. Builder's hut. Alright, there we go. Um... Everything should be getting repaired now, so that's good. I see the new roadmap. I did. Uh, so it's the same as the old roadmap. I guess they just put it back up for everybody to refresh their memory, maybe. Maybe, because it is the same. Pretty sure. Uh, 
Uh, let me see if I can get it brought up here real quick, actually. Well, let me go get my fire first. Double check that they're in there. They are. Okay. Let me see if I can grab the new roadmap real quick and bring it up. Okay, there's that. Then we just need to add an image source, maybe? Yeah, let's add an image. That'll be fine. Image uh, road map. Go. Dogs are barking at something. Dog barking. Road map. Road map. Here somewhere. Road map. Go. Okay. Let's make that small enough so it actually fits on the screen because it's very large. Close this off as much as I have to here. Hopefully I can get most of it on screen. Okay, so we know that it's Medieval Dynasty. Uh, so we have birds and trophies have been have been put in game, so that's good. The next one is air, so I'm guessing that's more activities, pl more playability, I don't know. Um, that's quarter two, and then for the rest of 2022, they're going to be working on trying to get the game to consoles, which is fantastic, so I think that's a good thing. Uh, so consoles this year, looks like. Uh, and then 2023, armors, crest, shields, and more. So that's kind of neat. So we'll be able to, hopefully we'll be able to make weapons and stuff too. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, your blacksmith should be able to do all around stuff. So that'd be kind of neat. Uh, and then at some, some part of the later part of 2023, a big surprise. So, uh, and again, when I, when I said that we were going to move on to either Sengoku or Wild West, whichever one comes out first. I didn't mean that I would completely be done with this. Anytime there are updates and we want to come back to the game and play and check out the updates, we're definitely going to do that. Definitely going to do that. I'm not deleting my game. I'm not going to never come back to Medieval's Dynasty. Um, but once either Sengoku or Wild West come out, I'm going to cut back on it so that I can put in more of the new game. So, uh, Which I think is only reasonable. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's the roadmap. It looks really good. Really good. Looks quite nice. Uh, consoles this year. It's going to be a big deal. Going to be a big deal. Warmed up enough. Just walked in the fire, literally, so probably definitely warm enough now. All right, let's go see about getting this family moved, and then we will. Uh... We will uh... go ahead and upgrade their place, too. They're not about to be happy about this, but that's okay. They don't have a choice. I'm asking very politely for them to move. There we go. They're unhappy about it. They're very unhappy about it, but that's okay. They don't have to be happy about it. I am the captain now. 
Excuse me. Uh, you need to be moving. Moving to the other house, please. Okay. Maybe a new DLC about Christmas uh, involving the King uh, game mechanics. I mean, possibly, yeah, um, possibly. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it'd be this year because the big surprise is in 2023. So I would say probably 2023 Christmas, maybe, yeah. I would say that would be that would be something to look for around 2023, the end of 2023. And that's just a guess. Again, I don't know. I don't have any inside information, so. That is an honest to goodness just guessing at it. What is holding me? Oh my God, get get out of here, kids. Jeez, it's not even your house. Construction zone, somebody over trying to work? Come get your kids. <laughs> kids. I mean, that'd be pretty weird. Having your air go to war. I mean, they're going to do armors and stuff first, right? Crests, so be family crest or village crest. Uh, I think that's kind of neat, too. I don't know if it's going to be village or, like, there's just... You can create a different uh, crest. I don't know how that's going to work. It's going to be kind of neat, though, to see. Whatever they end up doing. Action wars, maybe. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff they could do with the game, but it's whether or not they have the uh, the money to keep going, right? I mean, that's gonna that's gonna determine a lot of it. It's gonna determine a lot of it. Already had most of that done. Might as well finish it, I guess. Oh my God! Get get out of here! Yes, I was swinging at the kids, I know. Okay. Sorry. Got a little angry there. Just trying to walk through this construction zone. No big deal. problem. Don't mind me, just working here. I hate that we wasted like 20 minutes just sitting around the campfire and didn't realize that it was on two day or set to two day, even though I'm pretty sure it was on three day seasons. What's up, Bone? How's it going, buddy? Why am I at work today? I don't know, man. I don't know why you're, it's good Friday. Why would you be at work today? That seems silly. Oh, wall down there. Oh, in the roof down here. Holy crap. Now he finishes into the house. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you'd be at work today. It's good Friday. question is why did I not go back to sleep this morning I did not sleep long last night about three and a half hours maybe you've never had good Friday off oh man what's up froggy how's it going good to see you
Every Friday is Good Friday. I mean, that's every day is a good day. That's true. Every day is a good day. <laughs> I love sleep. My life has a tendency to fall apart when I'm awake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see. I can see that. Yeah, Bone, I went to sleep about the time you were getting up this morning, I think. Because <laughs> I know generally about what time you get, you get up. Oh, man. I was going to bed about then. And this dude woke me up at like 8, 7, 58 o'clock. Wake to sleep. Uh, right now, our mower is uh, out of commission. Uh, are we done with this? I think we're done with this. All right, cool. Uh... See, let's do some door upgrades here. There go. Window. Do some basic windows here. Basic shutters, rather. A window frame. Do an open there. Actually, let's do an open all the way around on these. Because this house has a good view on this side here. We want to give them the best. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful view right there. A beautiful view. Hang on now. Get rid of that. Use that as the camera frame. Love it. Love it. Yeah, it's got a great view on all sides here, I think. Uh, that one, not so much. We could have done without that one, but that's okay. Yeah, this one's got a view of the backyard and the, and the kitchen. Pretty nice. Uh, no, that is just some... That's the person that lives in this house, and I moved them, and she stayed. She was like, I'm not leaving. So she stayed here. All right, let's do a little, little shelving here. Actually, let's take that one back down and let's do a uh, do a hanger there. Oh no, I'm out of planks. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go get planks then. We we'll get planks. Yeah, she's just she just happens to be. I moved I moved them out of that house so I could build it, and she was like, I'm not going anywhere. So she's still there. She did not take kindly to the eviction notice. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Tia, Tia mentioned setting it to three-day seasons. I'm I'm willing to bet that, that at some point I did not realize it, but we had already switched back to two-day seasons. That's the reason we didn't get it last winter. That's my guess. And I don't know if I'm right or not, but that seems like it'd be right. Because it was set to two day seasons for some reason. I'm not real sure why. I mean, look at all that all that cheese that rotted. Mascuzzi. Yeah, I hope it's just because at one point I'd set it to three day and I thought I'd left it on three day, but I'd really just been running two day seasons. So I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, I'm with you on that. I hope that's the reason. I hope we get it this time around. Uh, we've been fighting this achievement for a very long time, so a very long time. And then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pop up another playthrough and go through and find. The spot where uh, uh, we do the thousand logs, and then um, just save that and do that over the course of uh, quite a few, quite a few episodes, probably recorded episodes. Oh, I'm in the wrong house. I was like, I thought I lit this fire a minute ago. In the wrong <laughs> Sorry, that's not the house I'm meant to be in. My bad. This one. This is the one we want. All right, cool. So here we go. Uh, but yeah, I want to... Uh... Good 
do another one there. Big one there, big one there. That'll work. Okay. Then maybe like that. I hate using the linen thread, but maybe that. I think that works. All right, there we go. The decoration. All right, cool. You guys are free to move back in now. We're done, I think. Let me close the windows back for you. It's cold. I can't. Pretty strange. I can't close the windows from in here. I'm going slower on Friday afternoon. I think you're right, Bone. I think you're right. Derek agrees. Oh, so somebody somebody left me a comment about not being able to put stuff on their water walls. I don't know because I can decorate mine. Uh, I'm not sure why you wouldn't be able to, to be fair. You should be able to decorate. You should be able to decorate the water walls. It shouldn't matter. You're fighting the I wasn't even looking achievement. Which one is that? Let me see. Let me get down by the fire real quick. Hang on. Which which achievement is that? Tab out and go have a peek here. Oh, wrong button. Achievements. Wasn't even looking. Hit the archery target and get a hundred or more points. So it's one point per meter, right? Is that right? Uh, I have that one. Uh, I'm actually made it a point to try to go further. So I think I ended up doing like a 143. They may not have unlocked it yet. I mean, oh, that's true. I didn't think about that, Tia. Uh, because because I am a little further in this game, uh, they may not have unlocked the ability to do that yet. I didn't know, see. I didn't know that was an unlockable thing. So yeah, that, that's possible. So if you're watching this, I forgot who asked, but if you're watching this, that may be the case. And I can go find their comment a little bit and uh, and let them know that that might be the case. So yeah, Tia, I think you're right. I think it's set back to two days, and I think that's the reason I didn't get it. Wow, I don't know when I set it back to two. I swear I thought I had it on three days. But it's getting dark. Like, we're, we're pretty close to being able to go to sleep. I know it doesn't look like it. I've got my, my gamma turn, or my brightness turned up a lot in game, so. Yeah, we got about, uh, Another f minute, maybe. Can't see this achievement on uh, on Steam. This a made-up achievement or the achievement I'm trying for? The warm-blooded? No, it's called warm-blooded. Uh, it's on there. Uh, let's see, warm-blooded, warm-blooded, warm-blooded. Survive winter with no clothes on. Warm-blooded achievement. All right, there's the lights. Maybe I can go to sleep now. Didn't that just say like 26 a minute ago? Or did I look at that? Or did it say 126? Fine. Whatever. It's fine either way. Yep. Yep, Ricky. It's called warm-blooded. Survive winter with no clothes on. Yeah. Uh, so the ones I don't have right now is the Dynasty Continues, Play as an Air, which we haven't done yet. Uh, show me the money, have a million coins. We're, we're working on that. I mean, as we go longevity-wise, we'll, we'll get a million coins. Uh, a helping Hand, complete 100 side quests. We've done 17. So at some point, we're going to do a series of videos and just focus on doing side quests for that achievement. So 
Um, must have been the wind. Sell fifty of the stolen goods during st- sell fifty of the stolen goods during one dynasty. So you got to get caught stealing fifty times during one dynasty and sell fifty goods uh, in one dynasty. So I may not be good at it. After all, is the getting caught fifty times? We got to do that one too. Uh, warm blooded is the one we're working on now. Reach city development level, which is our next level, I think. Um, master of hunting, get a level 10 in hunting, which we'll get to at some point. Level 10 in diplomacy, we'll still get to that at some point, even though we don't talk a whole lot. Uh, level 10 in survival, we'll get to that at some point. Those are just longevity. Like the more you play, you'll, you'll get closer to those as you go. Uh, hedgehog impale an animal with four spears while it's still alive. That one's hard. That one's hard to do. I'm going to have to turn the, the animal health way up to make that happen, I think. Um, happy wife, happy life. Give your wife gifts for two, of the, for two of the following years. So what I may do is I may drop down to one-day seasons and just try to knock that out all at once, uh, just so I don't have to worry about it. And then I have one hidden achievement remaining. Uh, details for each achievement will be revealed once unlocked. Yeah, I don't know what the hidden achievement is, but all those are very doable. It's just, uh, it's going to take, take a while to get there. What are you doing, son? How old is the boy now? Make sure we don't have anybody over here that needs a job again. Nope. Everybody's back to work that should be. Cool. Ulrich, how old are you now? 11. Man, he should, yeah, they should. I should have at least uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six kids working right now. At least six. Maybe even put the five-year-olds to work just picking up stuff. Making piles. Making a game. There's a lot of dang kids in this village, though. A couple of them, three were born this month. Wow. Look at how many mothers I have right there. how many people I have out. Thirteen. I have thirteen people out of work right now. Not a day off is normal. Just come out here and say, well, anyway, normal for this day, for this challenge anyway. Oh, for the thousand logs. I bet that's it. Yeah, that's when I'm going to have to load up a new save. Only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. That is true. That is true. That is very true, Bone. Very, very true, sir. Man, I'm tired today. A little drained. I was the same way last night. I was just drained last night trying to get through the Twitch stream. Drained. JFK was a smart man. He uses quotes often. Man, it's too bad people didn't like him, though. Say people, I don't mean citizens. Putting on my tinfoil hat. <laughs> Junior, if we did, we're liable to set everybody on fire. What you got over there? What you eating? What you eating over there? Hang on. What you got there? A pear? Hey, that's a pretty decent breakfast, actually. We don't have any chicken, so it, it makes sense we don't have any eggs. Oh, not even not even that, Bone. Just just in general, man. There was a lot of a lot of a lot of officials that didn't necessarily like him being president. Uh very smart though. Very smart guy. No denying that. Yeah, no grassy knoll talk, but yeah, I just there's a lot of people that didn't like him doing what he was doing, so. Uh, let's go grab some food real quick. We're going to need some at some point. 
How does this not freeze over? We're in the we're up in the in the mountain. It's winter time. There's snow everywhere, but our wash buckets are still. I guess because maybe they're heated. They're heated wash buckets. What it is, right? Heated wash buckets. Oh no, there's a torch in my inventory. How'd that get there? I don't want to torch my inventory. Uh, oh, here's some stuff we can do. We'll take a break from the house building. Much rod. Oh my god, I got 5,000 rod in there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I've got 242 cork as well, but that's alright. About to make more. Woo! Uh, cork. Lots of cork. 350. Is there a pipe running under there from the fire? I mean, dude, I've seen, I've seen some really cool, um, ways to heat a tent with a like a steel pipe and uh, a log you split the log four ways cut off like the inside corners and make like a little hole you set it on fire run a pipe all the way through it down to the bottom but you lift the log off the ground so there's air under it the way there's air coming through the pipe and going into the tent but it goes through the fire on the log and it heats it I forgot what they're called they're called something there's a specific name uh, but it's a fantastic little deal, and those should have been used a lot more. So, Charlotte, thank you for the $5 super chat. Much appreciated. Flushing it right down the toilet. There it goes. Thank you so very much. Going well, going well. I hope your day is doing well, too. Hope you're doing well today, brother. Oh, sorry. Am I in your way there? My oh, bad. Wait, are you making? What are you making? Are you making flat? Are we making flatbread now? I didn't know we was making flatbread. Those some hearts, some plunders, some golden TP in chat uh, for Charlotte and the five dollars super chat. Much appreciated. <sighs> Go, put the cork and the cheese up. I guess that's fine for now. How much weight's in here? 1,500 to 5,000. We're good there. Good there. Let's go make some fertilizer because we got all this all this rot. So. Need to warm up. I know I do. I know I do. Well, I didn't say you didn't. I'm just, I was just simply saying that that's a, that's a, that's a really cool trick. Uh, you reminded me of that. I forgot what they're called though. They're actually called, there's a name for that, that style. Cause you can cook with it and everything. Um, hang whatever you're cooking in there and it cooks all the way around evenly. It's, it's a really cool, uh, way to do things for sure. Uh, I've never actually built one. I would love to though. I would love to try to build one. What did I just make? Fertilizer? I need to put this up. I need to warm up though. Let's go sit next to the fire for a minute. Had a spiral ring around the fire and the pool filter running through it. Worked great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat, man. All right, there we go. You know, it wouldn't be so cold if you'd get up and go work and do something. The animal feed. Fertilizer. Oh, wow. We are absolutely full. That is not good, folks. We are absolutely full. Uh, let's take some of these logs up. 
<laughs> that was half the weight in the in the entire thing. Holy crap, that was a lot of logs. All right, what's what's the other part of the weight here that's the most? I think a lot of individual stuff here. The only thing in the hundreds is the straw. Uh, and the stone. Planks. I, need, I gotta leave some in there for the repair, though. The manure. Uh, which we get rid of half of that, I guess. Limestone. There's 528 limestone in there. Two hundred sixty-one pounds and fur or kilos. Seven hundred thirty-six in firewood, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Nineteen hundred in fertilizer. That's a lot too. I think the logs were taking up are uh, doing the most damage though. Seems that way. All right, we should be good. Should be good now. It's it's back down to half. I just took some of the logs out. I realize we need to warm up. Thank you. Yeah, let's call it a spiral oven. Yeah, I don't know the name of it. It's um, so it's an ancient cooking technique or heating technique. I just can't. There's a, there's an actual name for whatever it's called. But. Yeah, it's a very cool thing though. Uh, the way it the way it works, it's really neat. It's very neat. All right, should be warm enough. Uh, let's go double check that they made it into their house. I think I did that already. We're gonna go check one more time. Then we'll move on. Man, you can't sell anything from there, dude. Your your steps are here. How are you? Good, good. Can you move a little? Here you go. Oh, almost. We almost got, let's go this way then. Let's push him that way. Hello. Nope, he's still not having any of it, is he? All right, cool. Uh, so what is this? Goods? Where can I sell? Can I sell limestone? Can I sell limestone here? If I can, we're gonna put limestone in for sale because we got a ton of it. I know there's nobody working here at the moment, but uh, yeah, we need to do limestone. Actually, all these need to... This is the reason we're building up so much right here. I didn't realize how much of this we were uh, we were holding on to here. Let's drop that down. Let's put 10% on limestone as well. That'll keep our... This is like this is like um, population control, basically, because it, it helps you control the amount of stuff you have. And if you find a good balance of it on what you're bringing in versus what you're selling, um, you should be able to uh, get both. All right, let's go move these folks now. We'll start back on this side. We've only got four more houses to go. We get this one and then those three. So uh, this one I'm going to do a bit different, though. Pretty sure. I'll do this one a bit different. Okay, they're out of there. He's done. So 
I'm just gonna do this a bit different though. Do I want to do stone on the short or the long side and do log? I think I want to do logs across the front. And the back. Oh, I did that to stone, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, let's do this. All right, and then on the ends, we'll do stone. That should just give us a bit of, of texture and difference in the whole place. We'll do the good roof on it, though. Dude, how am I cold? Oh, I'm cold because I'm outside. I'm not close to the fire. Uh, let me get this place built. We should warm back up. There we go. Start building this. So maybe we can warm back up some because we're about, we're about to start freezing to death, I think. Yeah, bone. Yeah, very true, man. If you use it as an oven, so if you if you do the thing where you hang food in it, right, right in the center of it, it cooks evenly all the way around. Uh, it doesn't dry stuff out. It's just a really, really good uh, cooking method. If you if you happen to be out in the woods and you and you have the ability um, to, to split a pretty decent sized log and then just kind of trim off uh, what would be the inner pieces of it. And then stick it back together with some with some uh, wire of some sort. Uh, you have a nice a nice oven. Not only that, but if you got some pipe laying around too, you can make you a, a heater for your tent with no smoke. Uh, it's, that is, that's that's the way I found it. I didn't even find it as like a cooking cooking deal. I found it as a a way to heat um, with with fire not in your in your tent. <laughs> Or in your, you know, build or whatever you got there. I mean, you could, you could probably, I mean, you could probably do it with like a, a snow igloo as well, but uh, the pipe would be pretty warm, so it may melt wherever it's around. It's a pretty cool thing, though. Yeah, I mean, you started as small as possible in the center because as it as it burns, it burns the middle of it, which is kind of neat. So, I guess probably one of the best ways I've seen make a sustainable uh, heater outside in the bush. So. All right, cool. Production complete. Yep, we started warming up as soon as we started putting walls up. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm doing logs on the front and back and then stone on the sides. So uh, let's come out of here. I've got I've got a few more pieces of daub on me. I think we'll have to have more of those. We may have to do some clay. You use stone and then put wood around it to bend a little. I mean that makes sense, yeah. Um like I've seen people do it and use oh we got 58 daub. We might have enough. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of wood though. Uh, I didn't do the math here, uh, but but I've seen people use stone to put it up on top of. So, like you set it on, you know, four stones or whatever, and that way it's up off the ground because you need it up off the ground. So you need some airflow. So, uh, still a very cool way, very good method of heating and cooking both. Yeah. You don't like the daub look? Need to show more stone. I mean, I would love to leave it limestone, uh, but I'm trying to get happiness up as much as possible while still getting some some variation in the houses too. And the daub and limestone is the only way to do that. Sadly, it's the only way to make it happen. All right, so this this is what I'm going for right here. This kind of log cabin look, but with stone on the ends. I did, I did the one over there, that one up there, with stone on just the front where the door is and log all the way up, uh, all the way around after that. So I feel like, 
I feel like this is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Let's do, let's do these. Do the good shutters. Okay, and then we'll just do uh, open curtains all the way around. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't hang any lights in that last house, did we? We need to do that too. Uh, let's see. Where's an empty spot on the wall? Right here. We'll put the hanger here. We'll do a cross one like that. And then here we'll put our big shelf next to the fire. Uh, and then here we'll put a just a single shelf or maybe a double shelf there and a single shelf here. Yeah, there we go. All right, what can we do with the attic here? Let's see, where is... Uh, that's actually probably not a bad place for a lantern. So if that's there... Nope, that's that one. There. The one we already had. Oh, what are we missing? We're missing more linen thread. Holy moly, man. We're going through some linen thread. A candle in a pot can heat an entire room if you know how. Radiant heat. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Uh, so, oh, I forgot to put one here. I haven't used those small ones very much. They actually look okay. Uh, doing a... Um, like fire reflection or whatever at a campfire is is some of the best ways to do things uh, outdoor. It can reflect the fire, the heat, the heat reflector, whatever it's called, uh, back at wherever your your main, you know, we, we, your sleeping bag, tent, whatever. Uh, take you some rocks and stand them up or something. Uh, what am I looking for? I've got some... Can I use these? Is that okay? The health potions? To find out. About to find out. If I don't get the achievement, it's because I took health potions. Not in here, are they? They're in here. Just realized I was looking in the wrong place, I think. Potion of instant healing. What's the buff I've got on right now? I've got a buff on there. Is it my... Oh, it's raising my stamina ever so slightly. I mean, my, my health ever so slightly. All right, let's get back over to the campfire for a minute. I mean, that's true too, Bone. Yeah, you can definitely get too much of it get too close to it too long exposure uh whatever yeah it can be bad it can definitely not be good for you to get too much oh and i just saw you said heated how uh is there a pipe running from the fire uh, you're talking about the the water buckets outside the houses. That's the only thing I can come up with, man. There's we've got we've got uh, iron piping running from uh, underneath the fire uh, over to each uh, each water bucket outside. So, um, that's the only way those stay those stay not frozen. The only way they stay melted. So with a little bit of warmth uh, to heat the water, so when you take a bath, you don't freeze to death. I think that's the only way that it that it worked out the way it did. I 
I may have to go flip all of my fields down south to just flax so that we have enough flax to, to decorate, which we're almost done decorating. We don't need that much more. We may have to take a break from decorating uh, once spring rolls around to let them get planted and then wait till fall, they harvest it, and then we can start decorating again. So we may have to go through like three more seasons before we start decorating again, but uh, we've used a lot of it, so... Ice in the game would be interesting. Underground food storage, yeah. And that, and to be fair, like our food storage is fine for like basic stuff in short term, but um, I mean your stuff in just a in just a a building is not going to last that long. You know, a smokehouse would be good. Underground food storage would be good. If you smoke stuff, it lasts longer. So you smoke the meat, which I know we can do that, but. Or we can salt the meat, I guess. That that preserving preserving of some kind. So we can salt the meat. I guess that makes sense. But I think a smokehouse would be kind of cool. Kid, you go fall off that bench. You better be careful. Look at him. <laughs> oh, man. Some of the stuff they added for the kids is pretty funny. I didn't realize they did all that. Auto save. It must be afternoon. But yeah, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of things that can add to the game still. I'm kind of curious to see where they're going. Um, because in the roadmap, it says something about a surprise. So let me bring it back up here. Uh, what does that say? Big surprise. Yeah, at the end. Uh, at the end there. So. Uh, very curious to see how that's going to go. Honestly. Very curious. Very curious to see where it goes. I want to be able to make barrels. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good idea, Anna. Yeah, we do need the ability to make barrels. That's fantastic. Um, we should have the ability to make barrels. Hoping it's not a castle. I mean, they said they weren't adding to the map. And, and the king does not live in this valley, right? So adding a castle would not make sense. They would have to add a whole new area that you like, you go to one of the boundaries on the map or whatever and then travel, right? It just just a a cut cut screen or whatever. And then you're, then you're in the castle area. I think it'd be kind of neat if they did it that way, but I don't think they're going to because I, I've, I've already heard that they're not gonna add onto the map. Like that's been said, I think. Um, if they change that, then cool. If not, then I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't want them to put the castle in the valley that we're in because they've already said in the story that, the you know, this the king is not in, in this valley in some way. It's been mentioned. So, yeah, I don't think we need the castle in this valley for sure, Bone. I'm with you on that. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know what they'd be adding, honestly. A big surprise. It says big surprise. So, I'm... It, it may actually be the castle. Like, my speculation is it is the castle. That's my thought process on it. Like, if it didn't say big surprise, uh, I would assume that it would not be the castle. 50 minutes. Okay. 50 minutes. We'll sit on this stump this time. We'll look a different direction. Uh, I'm going to hit the outhouse real quick while we're waiting on time to pass because that's literally what I'm doing. So I'll be right back, listen to some music, some of this fine, fine medieval music playing here. I actually like the music in the game, but I'm going to hit the outhouse real quick. I've had a lot of coffee today, so I'll be right back.
a female character would be cool. Yeah. Uh, so, so somebody did ask on Twitter about um, Sengoku or Wild West Dynasty playable female characters. I can't remember which post it was under. Uh, and they said they were looking into that. So, uh, I mean, it does take um, extra, extra, uh, uh, an extra financial approach, I guess you could say, an extra budget, because they have to program, it's more time because they have to program uh, different characters, and then the dialogue has to change slightly. Uh, if they did it for male dialogue, they would have to change it to either neutral dialogue or uh, have a male and female dialogue. So they'd have to change it slightly regardless uh, if it's programmed for... Would you get out of bed? What are you doing? You ain't even asleep. Look at his eyes are open. Eyes are, he's just laying here. Uh, but yeah, so they would they would have to change quite a few things. So. Um, but uh, while I understand there's financial reasons... Uh, I don't see why they don't just do that from the start, right? Why it's not just built in from the beginning. Uh, those, that's just my opinion on the subject. Uh, you know, how, however they, you know, however they want to do it. Uh, it would be nice to let the main character have more than one child in the 18 year span. Uh, I mean, you can't even have another child after 18 years, can you? I don't know. I've never made it 18 years. So we're getting, we're getting there though. Uh, the boy is is 11, so we got seven more in-game years to go. All right, what are we on right now? We on day three? We're on day three, right? I guess it went back to two-day seasons. I just didn't realize it. You had two, but you had to wait till your son was 18 and then moved him out. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, lots of stuff, Bone. Yeah, that's true. Dialogue, actions, events, pregnancies. Yeah, so I mean, if uh, if we were to have a kid, it would be our character having the kid, not our, our wife in game, you know? So, um, yeah, and, and, and I mean, I understand. Like, it, it in theory, yes, it should, be, it should be all equal. You should be able to play as either character. Uh, but the amount of resources it takes uh, to do it, I see, I see why they go with the male character. One, because it's the, the thought process is more men play than women, which is, I think, silly at this point. Um, but the other thought process is probably it's a lot simpler for a man's life in this type of setting because there aren't all the extras, right? Um, I mean, think about it. The dude just gets up, goes to, goes and does his thing, goes to work, whatever. The woman has to has to go to work and do all the other stuff, and then uh, also carry the child. So it's it, there's there's a lot of extra there when you're talking about carrying a child in a video game. So I think it I think it could be quite quite taxing on the uh, on the budget for them to do so. Uh, and again, I'm not advocating for one way or the other. I'm just making a statement or making an observation. So. Uh, I mean, it could be bone. Yeah, I mean, and again, it, it could cost more. The, the longer you let it go, the more it's costing you because you're having to pay somebody and it's double the work, you know? So, I mean, it kind of makes sense too. Uh, if your budget's small, then you can do what you can do, you know? So, I mean, I, I understand, but at the same time, it'd be kind of neat to see. Like, I get it. I would just like to see it. I think it'd be better if, if, if they would make multiple characters they did mention though under that comment they did mention that, that they're working on character customization so for one of the two either Wild West or Sengoku so. and also we have to remember too that these are if they're if they're making these that are that are period specific then then different genders play different societal roles in those time periods, especially in different different countries, right? So Sengoku is based in, in China, or is it Japan? Japan? Yeah, in, in Japan. So, and then this is based in like, what would be Polish medieval times? 
So, and then Wild West dynasties, the Old West. So, I mean, you know, like societal norms were different for each time period and each country that they're they're based in. So, there's a lot going on there that they would have to factor in. Not just play as a female, play as a male. Like, it's not just a shooter game. You know, like... Um, but boiling it down in simple terms, they're a game company. If they wanted to do it and spend some extra time and money on it, they could. So... I wouldn't mind uh, more big quests, like the ones that take you to places to complete over a period of time, not the daily ones. I mean, I think that'd be cool too, yeah. Uh, having more bigger quests to do, I think that'd be good. I mean, I'm always up for more storyline. Uh, if Sengoku gets more storyline, which I hope it does, because uh, them putting out the scrolls of Sengoku uh, I think it's really cool because it's a historical thing that actually happened, a uh, time period that we went through. Um, so them putting that out kind of leads me to believe that Sengoku Dynasty is going to have a little bit of a, a richer story, but based in uh, somewhat based in, in historical fact. So that's going to be kind of neat. So many meetings. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Bone, it does. It depends on the team size and direction, yeah. Yep, I think Teal was 100% right. I think at some point I flipped it back to two-day seasons, and that's why we didn't get it last time, is because I thought it was on three-day. Whoops. Uh, hopefully we get it this time, though. Yeah, right, Bone. That's what I'm saying. So you'd have to, you would have to, you would have to, to make it, to make it, uh, and to be fair, with this game, they've done a pretty good job of historically representing the time period, I think, for, for things that are available, the way people live, that kind of stuff. It just, in my mind, this seems like a pretty decent representation. I don't know about the lanterns, the hanging lanterns and stuff. I don't know if they were available in, in, in the Polish medieval times, but... Um, um, with, without like the, the few, there, there's a few things in here that are like, was that really available then though? Like how, how available were they, you know? Um, but other than stuff like that, uh, I think they did a pretty good job representing what the time period may have looked like. Everybody worked, everybody kind of pulled their own weight. You kind of had to. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that throughout history, of course, have gotten better. So, a little bit longer. We'll see if we get this achievement. Probably depends on the skill of your blacksmith and availability of materials. That's probably true. Uh, when were lanterns invented? Uh, 1500 BC, the days of King David. Yeah, so they've been around a while. They definitely would have had uh, the availability to use them. Uh, let's see. In use in the medieval. Times. I'm sure they were. Uh, I just don't know how, avail how available they would have been. The medieval period ran from 800 to 1500. Medieval lighting came from large central fireplaces, candles, rush lights, flaming torches, or lanterns. Yeah, candles, uh, which had been around since Roman times, were made from animal fat or beeswax, if you were wealthy. Which we have candles on the wall in the game, so I think that's kind of neat. And like I said, I mean, this, this is a small village. Like, would we really have the ability to make this many lanterns? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to need it, Anna. I think we're going to need it. <laughs> I hope we get it this time. This has been a long time coming here, so...
or there's street lamps in medieval times. That's what we need. Uh, so yeah, basically. Yeah, so, so the one thing that we should be able to harvest, though, I think, is probably beeswax. Right now, we can put those candles up on the wall. Uh, let me go find... I think I've got one above my door here. Yeah, so we can put the candles up on the wall right now without harvesting animal fat or beeswax. I think that should be included in the, in the, in the game. Uh, we get honey, I think, but we don't get actual wax, do we? I was weird at auto save the same time I was tapping out there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think we get actual wax. I think we just get honey. Yeah, we just get the honeycomb. That's all we get. Yeah, that's all we get. It's just the just the honeycomb. Okay. So we really should be getting beeswax from this too. Yes, yes, I know I need to warm up. Where? Oh, yeah. Standing next to this will do it. Standing here should warm us up. It looks like it's not letting us go down anymore, but we're not warming up either. Kind of odd. That's warming us up. Okay, so the, the, the kitchen fire actually does work to warm you up. Uh, the forge didn't necessarily do that, but it wasn't standing in front of it either. Yeah, we're not getting any colder there. We're not getting any warmer either. Okay, noted. If our torch running around can keep us warm, then standing in front of a forge should also do. Uh, <laughs> it just seems to reason that it would. Uh, I need to go move these people back over here into their house, I think, if we're done with it, which I think we are. Uh, we're going to pop down next to the fire here in a second again real quick, though. Yeah. yeah we're done with the house. Pop down next to the fire a minute here, and then we'll go get them moved back in. Get warmed back up. Taking a minute to warm back up here. Must be very cold right now. Very cold. Get all these kids around me sneezing and coughing and everything else in the wintertime. Seriously, like always, just, just, ugh. What's up, William? How's it going? Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, YouTube, YouTube sometimes does that. I've been, I've been getting ghosted since my channel got hijacked in January and took a month to get it back. Since then, it's been all kind of wonky, so. Oh, what the? The fire was just burning. What happened? I'm gonna freeze to death sitting here. I was looking around at chat. It was burning. I don't know what happened. Now we're warming up slowly. The missus didn't want another kid anyway. No, no. Yeah, no problem, William.
But yeah, having more having more big quests, I think, would be a lot of fun. Um, I mean, honestly, at this point, we've been in this game for over over uh, about a year and a half now. So, um, Sengoku Wild West Dynasty, a new fresh a fresh dynasty would be good. Uh, I really enjoyed Farmer's Dynasty, but um, was looking forward to Lumberjack Dynasty, and then it got. Uh, a little silly with the the quest unlocks and such, the way it worked. So, uh, in my opinion, anyway. And then this came out, so it was like, all right, well, uh, this is this is probably the best, one of the best survival slash city builder games I've ever played. Because uh, that's basically what it is. It's a survival game, but it's also a city builder game. So, uh, and given the ability to build basically anywhere on the map is kind of cool. Mirror. Oh no, go back. Hold that button down. Four, there we go. Bet. Okay. Yep, they have been moved. There's a Wild West Dynasty coming out too. There is, yeah. The show is. Uh, so there's a Sengoku Dynasty that they, they actually announced Wild West Dynasty uh, before they announced Sengoku Dynasty. Uh, so there was supposed to be a Trucker's Dynasty, Cuba Libre. It's coming as well at some point. But I don't I don't know if that one got scratched or if it's just put on the back burner for now. I heard that it got put on the back burner. So I have to wait and see. Uh, should, I do, should I do one more house here? Maybe we should. Maybe we should do one more. Do one more here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do stone. I think I do. Just, just to try to get everybody's happiness up as much as possible. We'll just go ahead and do stone. Everywhere I go, they're just coughing all over the place. Quick double check. Roof changed out there. Get the roof in first because it takes forever. Yeah, right, true. Set up the travel band. Keep people locked in. Bro, it's like every winter, man. Every kid here is coughing and sneezing and hacking and everything else. Parents, just keep your kids inside for a day or two, right? Let them, let them, let them get over their cold. Jeez. Trucker's Dynasty scrapped. I think they originally wanted it. Uh, their engine. Yeah, I think you're probably right, Bone. Unless they decide to go a different direction with it, which after the wild success of Medieval Dynasty and what I'm pretty sure is going to be a very, very popular Sengoku and Wild West Dynasty both. Uh, Trucker's Dynasty Cuba Libre. I like the idea of the story that they had that they had going with it, right? Um, but yeah, I just don't think it's going to be viable given, given the the expectation now from top lids. So. 
given this is developed, uh, the developers of the game, the actual programmers, were RenderCube. Toplitz is the one that, that came up with the game and the, uh, the story and all that kind of stuff. So they're the production company behind it. So um, I think, I think, um, I think given the wild popularity and the standard they set with uh, Medieval Dynasty, they're going to have to come with it in Sengoku and Wild West. And if they did Trucker's Dynasty, they would have to come with the same level uh, to have the same success. And I just don't, I don't know, because Toplitz is a small company, I don't know that they have the ability to do this. So, uh, and again, it doesn't matter to me if it's built on the same engine as, as, as Farmer Dynasty and Lumberjack's Dynasty. That, that doesn't bother me. Farmer's Dynasty was a fun game. Um... Lots of success on, on Farmer's Dynasty from Top Lids. I think their biggest mistake on it was going to uh, console. That was the biggest mistake they made. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Bone. That's, that's what I'm saying. They can't just use their engine. They would have to outsource, especially now that they've set this standard, right? Like, this is what this is the level that people expect now from top lids. So, once you set that standard, uh, it's hard to keep it there. So, yeah, Bone, I agree. I agree. Uh, and again, uh, Farmer's Dynasty was a fun game. I uh, absolutely loved it. It did a huge things for my channel. It really is what made my channel take off to begin with. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll always have love and appreciation for Farmer's Dynasty because it was the first game of that type that, I, that I'd ever played or that I'd ever seen. I think it was a kind of a groundbreaking uh, experience in gaming for that genre because it had never been done like that. So uh, same way with Medieval Dynasty, honestly. Like this... This type of survival slash city builder game has never been done on this level. So uh, I think they've done a fantastic job. They just need to keep that keep that energy up when, when they move on to the next task, you know? I mean, that's my opinion. But uh, again, I'm not affiliated in any way with, with Top Lits. I just, I want to see them succeed because I like the games that, the, I like the ideas they're putting out for the games. I think they have some good, some good ideas for games they're putting out. So, uh, I definitely want to see them succeed. Are the street lights on yet? No, still, still daylight. Still daylight, it seems. All right, let's get them moved back into this house then. Uh, then we'll have two more to do at some point. This still needs a lot of improvements. I mean, depending on how you look at it, yeah. Depending on what you're wanting out of the game. Uh, I, th I think the game is, is done pretty well. I don't I don't know I don't know how many more improvements they're gonna make. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what kind of improvements people are looking for. Um I like the I like the way the game is. I'm glad they're adding new stuff. Um there could be easier ways to get around in the menus for certain. But but like I don't know and I know there's still bugs that probably need to be worked out too, but I don't know what other improvements they could make. I mean, this is truly a unique experience. Like, it really is. This is an entirely unique thing. 52 minutes. All right, let's go hang out by the campfire again. But yeah, gaming, I'm with you. Like, I mean, there could always be improvements. I'm just, I'm, I struggle to find... specific improvements that I would love to see them do. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, a bath or furnishings in the house would be good, yeah. Can't cook more than one meal in the cauldron? What do you mean? You can cook multiple meals at once. That one I don't, that one I don't think, I mean, you go to it, you just hit cook this many, right? I think that works, but yeah. Um, yeah, being able to put things in the house should have been in the game from the start, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with that. 
yeah, it's not game breaking, but it is um, immersion breaking. Like it kind of breaks the immersion of the game because you can't put a table in the house, right? Like I, I know not everybody was wealthy and all that kind of stuff, but you would have some sort of table or something in the house to, to sit on or eat on. So something. When you move the 18-year-old to a new house, they're still listed under dad's house. See, I haven't made it that far, so I didn't know that. So. Only one meal at a time. Bowls slash plates can craft five at once. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't have a lot, but being able to put a table or like a bench or something in the house, I think would add a lot. Uh, to the immersion and realism of the game because I know they didn't have a lot in their house uh, but they had shelves to put stuff on they had stuff to hang things on right um, having a table in there is not such a far-fetched idea and I know why it's not done it's the collision issue that they have where the table is attached to the ground and not the house but now that they've separated the foundation uh, from the base frame of the house, maybe uh, they can go back and re tell that tell that item that it can attach to this too at this level, right? So maybe they can do that now. So. I haven't seen much gameplay of this. Why doesn't the player character have the shirt on? So I am naked right now, or as the as the game would say, with no clothes on, uh, except for my skivvies. Uh, to try to get an achievement. There's an achievement called Warm Blooded where you survive winter with no clothes on. So that's what I, that's the reason I've been going and sitting next to the fire every so often. Uh, but yeah, so another thing, uh, gaming, I'm with you on is is that there's a lot of lot of stuff that should have been in the game from the start, and uh, I realized that it came out in early access. All right, let's see. I still don't think I got it. The kingdom is preparing for war. According to the king's decree, taxes are being raised. Hopefully tensions will fall soon, and those demands won't last that long. Um, surely king can give us some pardon. I hate taxes. I'm not paying that. Send a letter to the king. Uh, should we send a letter? Dynasty reputation will go up 3,000 if I just pay it. It's 28,000, though. I don't have 28,000. Do I? Do I have 28,000? Choose answer. Taxes increased by 10% minus 1,000 dynasty. We used our reputation to sway the king to lower the taxes for us. Taxes are only a bit higher, and we lost some of our reputation. Wow, I should have taken the other thing. Holy crap. Seems like a lot. Pay taxes. No achievement. I still didn't get it. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong. I felt like I did everything right that time. Reload, it takes an hour and a half to get through that. It's it's roughly 20, 20 to 25 minutes per day. I don't know what I did wrong, though. Had to make your own bathhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it. you should be able to put, put something in the house, right? Maybe not the bath, because... You know, you get water all in the house, whatever. I get that, but um, definitely. Some, why are you standing in the kid's toy box, woman? How can I help you? Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. 
Uh, romance. Got a little something for you. I need to remember to do that. I gotta get this done. There we go. Gotta get that done. Try to get a little bit of a tan. I mean, we could walk around all summer without our clothes on, I guess. Happy Good Friday to you as well, Joyful. Yeah, I don't I don't know. That's so strange. What did I do wrong? Like the only thing I had in my inventory was my my hammer. Uh unless it auto putting my torch back there did something. But it shouldn't have. Because I, I didn't I never pulled the torch out. I sat by the campfire. Uh wow man. I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to actually go look this up. Because I don't know I don't know what just caused that. I don't know why it's I don't know why it's being like that. It's so weird. Like the thousand logs is just gonna take a while, but this is frustrating. Uh, I'm gonna get so that the this update is out fully now for the public for the public branch or whatever. I'm gonna get off the test branch and then we're gonna try that again. I think. Uh, so it's an automatic action, William. I didn't actually hold it in my hand, like as far as taking it out, and running around with it. Like when you say light the fire, it just pulls it out, lights the fire, and puts it back up. It's not like it's running around with it. So it, that shouldn't have counted. Like even holding the torch shouldn't have counted because it doesn't say you can't hold the torch. It just says with no clothes on. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's possible, William. Possible. I don't know why I can't get this dang achievement. Just silly. Uh, let's go see how much money we have when you get the buildings repaired again. How much money we have in here from our sales. Coins. Uh, 2,048. I'll be glad when another person goes back to work uh, selling things. All right, let's do management real quick. Uh, builder's hut. go repairing let's see if anybody is back to work now uh yeah here we go uh crafting what was what was Ludomira doing was was Lud was she doing the I think she was doing the the water maybe uh here's one of our farmers on workplace all right she's down at the barn down here Farming. There go. Got her fixed up. Uh, she's a five in crafting. I think she was getting our water for us. I think that's what she was doing. That's the reason her crafting went up so quick. Green, green, right? The crafting. Oh, no, that's extraction. Well, what were you doing then? Found workplace. Maybe she was in one of the kitchens, I guess? I'm not real sure here. Oh, the sewing hut, I bet. I bet she was in the sewing hut. Maybe in the smithy? Because we only got one person in the smithy. I'm gonna say the smithy. That way we can get our we can get our tools back going again. Um, and then diplomacy or extraction. She was doing the water. That's what it was. Yeah, she was doing the water. Okay, cool. All right, let's see who doesn't have tools now. That's gonna be a big thing.
The woodshed does not have what? Axes? Let's see why. Oh, they're in here. Never mind. I was already standing there. Hmm. You haven't seen much of this game? Yeah, this is I'm in season four of this, and I can't remember how many episodes per season I've done. There, there are at least 20, I think, for each season. So there's a lot of this game on here. There's over 1,700 videos on my channel, too, William. So uh, if you haven't checked out the other ones, by all means, uh, there's like 170 Farmer's Dynasty uh, episodes. There's only about 30 Lumberjacks Dynasty. What was I about to look for? Axes. Oh, yeah, we are slap out. Look at that. You're slap out of axes. Are they, not, are they not crafting axes over here? This is another thing, too. Is like when I say city builder, this is the part of it that city builders. You have to keep up with all this stuff, too. Bronze axes. No resources. You don't have bronze. We have uh, copper. We have tin, right? And we have copper and tin. Okay. Well, let's go check out this one. That is not the button I just wanted. No. Go back. Back to that. Smithy. Uh, copper bar, tin bar, bronze bar. Uh, and actually, we need to take this back down then. Do 20% each on these. Six seal, bronze bar. No resources. We have resources, though. There's resources available. I don't know why they would say there's not. Yeah, see, these are doing just copper and copper and tin. So strange. Uh, maybe we'll catch back up at some point. I don't know what happened to the game sound, either. Like, it just died. Hear the birds a little bit. Very strange. Anyway, uh, okay then, uh, I'm I'm a bit baffled at why this is not working. To be fair, uh, I need to go make some axes myself. Do I have actually have any bronze on me? I don't know if I do. I do have some axes I can throw in there for now though. Do that first. Let's just throw some axes in there. Then we can get busy. Uh, let's see. I've got copper ore. I've got copper. I got tons of copper bars. Got some iron bars. I could make iron, I guess. I need to put all these mead bottles in here. Let's have them sold. At 610 ore. I don't have a whole lot of. Uh, I got cut. Let's go make some copper axes. We'll put those in there for them. I know they're going to go through them quicker than the bronze, but it'd be all right. Here's the best advice not wearing clothes when winter starts, do not sleep. Save the game before winter ends. If the achievement doesn't drop, restart Steam and try again from the save. Man, that's so painful, though. Like, there's no reason it shouldn't be working. I mean, that's just painful, man. Best advice from Toplets. All right, well... Yeah, no, William, I understand completely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, if you want, if you want more of this game, there is uh, from from day one, uh, there is there's content on it, lots of content on it. I need to put these in here. I don't know where I'm going. And 
that's just painful. Like, I wish I'd have just known, you know? Like, oh well. All right, they should have access now. They should be good. Uh, the buildings should be getting fixed, I guess, because we did that right. Services, that's the one we want. Yep, buildings are getting fixed. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Do they think about having uh, some ores in the storage box? I don't think so, True. I think it's just a case of uh, being behind on it. I mean, might as well cut a couple of thousand logs naked. Yeah, that's true. It's also a lot of wasted game time and IRL time trying to get it right, uh, that achievement. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, that's what's frustrating the most about it is that it's like, uh, I've tried this a dozen different ways and all I had to do was save right before winter ends and then restart, like... It shouldn't even be a thing. Like that should be fixed by now. So yeah, there's there's a lot of little things. I agree with uh, the gaming reflections. There's a lot of little things that should already be working for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not uh, not the best. Like that should that should not be broke. I don't think. Uh, that's kind of silly. Uh, check the mine inventory. For status, Let's see production. Uh, no, traction. That's what we want. That one's just getting iron. That one's just doing tin. That one's just copper. I'm actually gonna bump this one up. Up to 75. Back to that one. It's getting 10. That's at 100. Hundred percent on that one getting 10. That's good. That's what we want. What we want. Man, that's just painful though. Uh, I'd have to go through all that not to get the achievement again. Not get it again. Yeah, I mean, I'm running all but one, but I need more people in them, I guess. But yeah, so I've, I've got iron coming from one, tin coming from two, copper coming from one, and then I've got one smithy doing nothing but copper and tin bars, and I got one smithy doing a few copper and tin and mostly bronze. So. I looked at the numbers produced each day and it should be balanced out, but it doesn't seem like it is. It's very strange. You can have up to five torches on you. Oh God, there's no telling how many torches I have in my inventory. Yeah, if that, there, there's a big issue right there because I have... I've got one there. Then I've got like six or seven here. Yeah. So I didn't even look at that. Uh, that's an issue too. Yeah, that shouldn't be a... It shouldn't be a... Like literally the achievement states survive winter with no clothes on. That's all it should be. It should just be survive winter with no clothes on. It shouldn't be a whole bunch of these hidden stipulations. Like that's the broken part of it. Like, it, they should clarify at least three days, no clothes on. And that should be it. There should be no other stipulations. And if there is, then change the description of the achievement on Steam. Because the description of the achievement on Steam is survive winter with no clothes on. I just think it's a bit um, broad, I guess. A bit broad. All right. Anyway, 
Uh, I'm gonna call it a day there. We tried. I'm not. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna try again today. Uh, I don't even know if I want to save this. To be honest, uh, I think we might just go back. Uh, let me make a new save. Make a new save. Uh, Mount Deuce four. We'll just make a new save there. One and two is my main save from right before we. Right before we tried the achievement again, so Mount Deuce 4 is the one after. I'll remember that. So. And you should be able to sleep through Naked Winter, yeah. Or Winter Naked and get it. For sure, yeah. Um, uh, so Jeff got his, and he said he slept through Winter. Some people say they didn't sleep through Winter, so it's like, uh, you know, there's, there's a whole lot of hidden st stipulations in this achievement that just... It should either be explained in the description or the description that they give should get you the achievement. One or the two. You can't do both and expect people to get it. Like, it's just a huge waste of time. To get through a three-day season is about 25 minutes if you don't. If you don't sleep, it's about 35 minutes, um, roughly. So, I mean, you're looking at, at minimum, an hour and a half in-game just, just to get the achievement that you don't even know if you're doing everything right to get the achievement. So... Uh, next time we're gonna we're gonna drop all of our torches, um, and just see what happens. So. Uh, but thanks everybody for being here. Thank you for the super chat earlier, Charlotte. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Uh, if you're enjoying Good Friday, congrats. If you're enjoying, um, uh, what it what it, some people have Monday off too. The kids out of school on Monday too. So, uh, Good Monday, I guess. I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, have a great weekend. It's a holiday weekend. So enjoy your holiday. If you, if you celebrate any of the holidays this weekend, uh, if not, then just have a good weekend. No, no big deal. Right. Uh, have a good weekend. Uh, hope buddies enjoy themselves. Stay safe out there. Uh, play some good games. Listen to some good insight. Give some good insight if you can. Uh, be positive, be nice to each other. And, uh, I'll see you guys. Uh, back here on Monday. I don't think me and Bone are doing anything tonight, so uh, if we do, I'll see you back tonight right here on YouTube. If not, I'll see you guys on Monday. Remember, on Pixel Deuce Plays, you can find the link down below for all of my other YouTube channels and my Twitch channel. On Pixel Deuce Plays on Sunday, there will be a new episode of No Place Like Home, episode number three. I release those on Sunday at noon, so go check it out. Uh, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. and Sunday morning at 8 a.m., on Deuces VODs, the streams, the two streams I managed to get in on Twitch this week will be uploaded uh, on the Deuces VODs. So if you missed them on Twitch, you can go back and check them out on my Deuces VODs channel. Uh, go subscribe to Shooting the Deuce. I'm currently in the process of uh, starting a starting up, uh, I say a podcast. It's more of a just a conversation show, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start this weekend reaching out to people, uh, guests. They're going to be uploaded videos and they're going to be uploaded on Saturdays probably. Um, but I'm going to record a bunch of them. Excuse me. I'm going to record a bunch of them before I start putting them out. That way I'm ahead a little bit uh, on those, and I can have some time to edit them too because it's, it's, a, it's a lot trying to manage this many channels by myself. So uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do some recorded podcast-style episodes where I have different guests on talking about different stuff. We're not going to just talk about uh, what's your favorite game, blah, blah, blah. We're going to talk about what else they do. So... Um, and it just in general, life behind the scenes kind of stuff. Uh, so no politics, no religion, no social uh, social activism, activism stuff. Uh, sticking to sticking to, to uh, entertainment and and that kind of stuff. So, uh, but either way, uh, depending on the guest, of course. Uh, but I will see you guys uh, back on Monday for more Medieval's Dynasty, and we'll try this achievement again. I'm gonna reload my old save, and we'll try this achievement again. Uh, so more Medieval Dynasty Monday. I appreciate you. Have a great, safe weekend. Later, everybody.